This is where it pays off. The training and the discipline. No other outfit in the world. Pull out of a winter battle, move a hundred miles, go into a major attack with no rest, no sleep, no hot food. God. God, I'm proud. Welcome to the inbox review of General Patton's WC-57, a command car from Skybolt. Kit number a TP3506. Why is this vehicle of significance? All you gotta do is watch. For a small kit, uh, this is uh, could be construed as a relatively expensive kit, but I'd like to add that uh, this particular kit from Skybolt uh, is a three-in-one kit. In other words, you can build uh, three vehicles. Uh, the one that we see here was uh, the WC57, which is the one that I'll be building. And there's also um, two types of uh, vehicle, like the box art uh, depicts here. Okay, and we can uh, build them. The one I'll be building over there. So we have the possibility of uh, building three different types of vehicle depending on uh, the campaign and so on and so forth. Is depict depicts which one uh, you are going to uh, to build. And uh, you know me, I always start with the instructions. So uh, here we are. And uh, before we start, uh, let's zoom in on them. So uh, we can see a little bit more, and uh, we'll try to write about there should be good. And of course, uh, as you can see, we have uh, the normal uh, vehicle description and all that good stuff. This comes in booklet form, which I prefer. And uh, on the first page, of course, uh, we have our color callouts and all that good stuff. Uh, uh, Mr. Color and uh, Hoppy Color, whoever the hell that is, okay, are uh, the color palettes, okay, for this. But all these colors that are mentioned here, okay, are all available in any uh, paint uh, scheme. And uh, the uh, <clears throat> I had to study uh, the instructions a little bit prior to getting into that uh, because it has uh, three uh, three typical vehicles. Uh, you'll have to study your legend, which is uh, a little new to some of us. The Skybow has their own the symbology and so on and so forth. And uh, so uh, we'll have to uh, look into that. The uh, the build itself can be comprises of uh, 18 steps, okay, and in the back here we have uh, the, 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 the various variants, okay, we start with uh, 1944 Europe, which was a WC-56, okay, uh, in 1945, okay, was a WC-57 when he was attached with the Airborne, okay, and the last but not least was his... Uh, Third Army command uh, command car, and that's the one I'll be building. So let's go back uh, to the instructions here and uh, see what we have. And uh, as we can see here, uh, it, it starts right on uh, the first step, and they tell you you have to decide uh, what you are going to do uh, with regards to um, which vehicle, and it comes complete with a detailed engine, and we'll see that when we go through the sprues and all that. And uh, here's a so specific, okay, uh, the transfer case, okay, is unique uh, to both vehicles down here, so you have to pay attention to that. Uh, same thing, okay, throughout you'll see special instructions on which vehicles you're going to be making, and so on and so forth. Uh, step number three is adding uh, the engine to the frame and the radiator and all that good stuff. And... Uh, Throughout the instructions, as you can see here, uh, a lot, a lot of small, tiny parts and all that. A lot of parts are in that. You'll see that in the sprues as well. I was really impressed with the amount of uh, uh, parts uh, in the kit. And down uh, below, we uh, we assemble the powertrain uh, to the frame and so on and so forth. Okay, uh, step seven uh, is just uh, a little bit on the suspension. And step number eight, we're starting to build the chassis itself. Okay, once again, you've got to pay attention to your instructions. You keep in mind uh, what vehicle. What I normally do after I photocopy uh, these uh, these instructions, I save them because I've helped uh, several modelers out uh, throughout the years there uh, about uh, instructions and all that. If I happen to have them in, in my stash and PDF, uh, I send them along. Paul has uh, assisted me as well uh, in that endeavor, so it is what it is. 
And uh, step number nine, uh, once again, we're getting into more components, okay, of uh, uh, the, uh, the the vehicle itself on the chassis. Uh, one thing to note here is that uh, the command car, uh, it's Pioneer Tools here, or uh, we're on the rear, okay, and uh, there's two ways to build it with uh, the cover down or the cover up. I haven't decided yet. Uh, Patton did not uh, drive with his cover down. If I want to display that they are indeed in the trunk there, well, we might do that. And uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of little parts, okay, that make up this vehicle as we go through those. So it's going to be an interesting build, okay? All the fenders are, are single uh, fenders with the various points to attach them. Uh, the bonnet, same thing here in, in step number 12. Um... Uh, here we have the various grills, the, the 56, okay, and then uh, the 57, which is Patton's vehicle, okay. Uh, one of the things that Patton added uh, on uh, his particular uh, vehicle, okay, was a grab bar for his passengers, okay. And uh, here's when we're talking about uh, the Pioneer tools that are in the trunk, okay. It's got a cover. We can display it open, okay, or shut. And in our particular case, uh, it uh, I had I haven't decided yet. <laughs> okay, uh, we got the windshield. Uh, we have the wheels, and of course uh, here we have the various uh, uh, accoutrements that are going on the vehicle. So without further ado, uh, let's uh, jump right in the box and uh, see what we have. I'm picking out the screws in no particular order, but uh, please bear in mind here that. Uh, these are resealable bags, so I'm going to uh, protect them, and I'm sorry for the noise, and I'll do them one by one, <clears throat> and get my little card out here so we can show up details and so on, and um, so we're going to zoom in on this, and we're going to go back to auto for the gain, and that will permit us to, let's get out of that, there we go focus and uh, here we have our, our wheels okay and uh, as we can see <clears throat> some lovely detail okay happening there okay on the hubs and so on and so forth and same goes uh, with uh, the tires okay not much to see there so we'll go to our next one and uh, this one is uh, one, of, this is one of the cleanest 50 caliber guns I have ever seen. Okay, straight out of the box. And we're going to show that there. She'll look at that, John. Okay, lots of love, crisp detail. Okay, uh, absolutely exquisite. When we look at the, the grab handles there, uh, it's, it's simply well done. Uh, when we look at uh, the level of detail there on uh, the stand itself, I don't know if we're going to be able to pick up uh, the there we go that little adjusting lever there uh, for uh, you know telescoping up and down, and of course uh, it's uh, absolutely wonderful. Uh, here we have uh, the back plate, okay, for uh, that uh, those Pioneer tools, okay and as you can see it is a nice and crisp absolutely wonderful uh we got his two uh, forward stances okay for uh, for his flags and uh we have the i don't know if the camera is going to pick this up there i'm going to hope hope it will uh we actually see the vents okay on the siren itself okay on the side there okay and uh, same thing when it comes down to the front. Absolutely exquisite detail. And uh, I thank my old buddy for sending me this. This is going to be an interesting kit. Uh, here, we're not going to take these out of the bag because there's not much to see there. It's your Pioneer tools. And uh, not much to say about them. I haven't seen any flash to date, but it's a, uh, a wonderful, wonderful kit. Let's try to get this other light in the picture here and uh, see what we come up with. Okay. 
And uh, here we have uh, a larger sprue. Once again, I apologize uh, for the noise and because I want to save my bags because I do not know uh, when we're going to be building this. I'm not quite sure of the level of detail we're seeing here. Uh, this is uh, the engine components, I would imagine, the bonnet and all that good stuff. And as we can see, uh, the level of detail is uh, second to none. Uh, the vents here on the side clearly, clearly depicted. The grills are very, very fine and no flash. We've got the two variants here. And here we have either a rear or a front fender. I believe those are rear fenders. Uh, beautiful, beautiful demarcation where all these parts go. There's no guesswork. Okay, there's some depressions. I call them uh, mortise and tenon joint. Uh, we've got the various fasteners and all that good stuff for the hood. And we can see rivets if I... Sh there we go. Okay, we can see the rivets on the hood. Absolutely wonderful. And if we flip, uh, there's a the level of uh, the windscreen itself. Okay, uh, the underneath, okay, with uh, stiffening rods and so on. Absolutely wonderful attention to detail. Um, the jerry cans are nice and crisp. The handles, which is normally where we'll find some flashes, non-existent. Uh, here's a part of uh, the drive case and so on and so forth. And uh, we have a spool, and that is what the rope was for when I did the original uh, thing. And we're going to be coating some rope on that to pretend that it's a spring, although it doesn't say that in the instructions. <clears throat> now we get into the main components of uh, the chassis itself, and... Uh, here we have it, okay, a diamond-plated, uh, if the camera will pick it up, diamond-plated floorboards, okay, and uh, running boards, as you can see, uh, beautiful, beautiful. He even got a molded gas pedal, and check out the detail on that, if the camera will pick it up. Right there underneath my fingernail is the gas pedal, and you can see that it's rubber, texturized rubber. Uh, when we look at the folded canopy at the back, okay, some beautiful detail. Uh, the anchoring points here are absolutely wonderful. We'll have to be careful when uh, I take those, I cut those off. Those are very, very fine. Uh, the interior, okay, beautiful detail. Uh, the seats, uh, I don't know what the camera's going to pick up, has got uh, the waviness in the letter. There we go, we can see some of that. Uh, and that is going to be, if I can pull this off, and outside of dusting this vehicle, I'm going to keep it as pristine as possibly can. Uh, practicing, uh, well, I may not be practicing on this one before I get the big red. But uh, I want to render, I want to keep this car nice and clean, and it's going to be mounted on the little vignette. And uh, here we have our engine components. <clears throat> and uh, absolutely wonderful. Uh, the fuel tank here. Check the level of detail on this fuel tank. Okay. And uh, our... Uh, the timing cover. Wow. Excellent, excellent. Uh, right down to uh, the oil pan. And we can see the rivets. Let's try to get this in the proper light here without the shadows. The detail, uh, ugh, what can I say? It is there. Right down to the leaf springs. Oops, not that side. Uh, we can actually count the leafs, okay, in uh, the springs itself. Hoping this is coming out on the camera. Lovely detail, okay, for uh, the radiator as can be seen. Uh, here is uh, the frame itself. And all these little components are all attaching points. We're not going to uh, 
get into too much of it. There's the other half of uh, the fuel tank. Uh, we do have a, a sprue of clear, okay, and we just got the two windscreens, okay, and the two headlights, and that's it. And the rope, okay, will be going on that reel that we explained. The uh, the decals are for the various uh, campaigns and registration. They explain that they are of a matte finish and very they're well with well registered, very little. Uh, um, carrier film, okay, it can be seen uh, outside of the decal itself, and if uh, uh, they are good uh, decals, uh, that's going to be nice because I deserve out a lot of them. And uh, that concludes the inbox review of Patton's uh, command vehicle, the three-quarter ton, okay, made by Dodge. And uh, like all my reviews, I always put in at the end uh, the disclaimer, this kit has not been built, okay? It's what we see in the box. Uh, from uh, what we uh, we have seen, uh, I believe uh, the value is there. I want to thank my buddy uh, for sending this to me uh, once again. I guess uh, we discussed this a couple of times, and I simply don't remember, okay? And uh, it is what it is when you're getting old. But uh, nonetheless, thanks for watching, folks. Witcher. Signing off.